Hetch Hetchy Reservoir is considered San Francisco's main water supply, and the city is very protective of it. But it's also part of Yosemite National Park, and some people are pushing for more public access to the area. KPX 5's John Ramos with the story. Here at Hetch Hetchy, the views are so stunning that John Muir referred to it as a second Yosemite Valley, but very few people from the public ever see it, and it turns out that's probably not an accident. Hetch Hetchy has a lot of the same features as Yosemite, picturesque waterfalls, huge granite monoliths, but one thing it doesn't have is a lot of visitors. Compared to Yosemite, it's deserted. There's places to picnic, there's places to fish, there's places to rock climb, and uh, people can't get back there. Spreck Rosecrans is executive director of a group called Restore Hetch Hetchy, which would like to return the valley to its natural state. But the group says at the very least, the public should have more access to this land that is part of Yosemite National Park. People should be able to explore this canyon. We're not proposing roads. Uh, there probably should be some more trails, but the easiest way to get back there would be allow, to allow boating on the reservoir. The group has proposed an electric ferry boat system operated by the park. It could transport hikers and fishermen to various places on the nine mile long reservoir that are currently only reachable by a multi-day backpacking journey. But the San Francisco Public Utilities Commission says it is not interested in any activity that allows human contact with the water. In our experience, uh, people in wilderness, people in national parks, people in, in lakes, where people go, you know, trouble tends to follow, so we have to be very cautious about, you know, the kind of access that might be allowed to a drinking water supply. Currently, there is no camping allowed, trails are minimal, and the road in and out is closed at night. All this despite the fact that public access, including boating, was promised back in 1913 when Congress voted to build the dam. And now, after the group proposed boating to the Department of Interior, a ban on boating at Hetch Hetchy was quietly slipped into the 2,000-page 2020 federal spending bill. The PUC's general manager for water says he doesn't know who put it in there. Rosecrans thinks he knows. We think San Francisco has had way too much influence on the Park Service to keep people away from this spectacular canyon. John Ramos with the assignment of the week. That's